you okay? Good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good evening. Um, my name is Drake Willard, and I'm here to tell you about my flavoring project for my Eagle Scout project. So, you know, first of all, my name is Drake Willard. I'm a Life Scout with Troop 647, which is based in Mercer Island, Washington. I've been a member of this St. Demetrius Church community for about 10 years now, and I'm a Greek American. My puppy was born in uh, Castoria in 1928, and uh, my uh, parents were born in Castoria. That's a little bit about me. So what I'm proposing is I wanted to do my Eagle Scout project for this church. You know, it's giving a lot back to me. So my original idea for this was to build a sign for the church, because all of the churches on Mercer Island have a nice nice sign that says, you know, welcome to our church. But then I learned that there was a construction company um, doing something like that. So the project evolved into remodeling the flare room. So my proposal to you all is to clean, paint, repair, and renovate the flare room. So the purpose of the flare room is a place where toddlers can be calm and can, you know, play around with all their toys while the um, parents watch the service on the television. And so, you know, in general, it's a good, positive environment. So, suggestion in the improvements with the playroom, I feel it's a little bit dull, uh, disorganized, and I'll explain all of these points in a bit. Unsafe, this one I'll explain right now because we have a slide in the playroom and the kids absolutely love it. They love it. But, you know, there's been a couple instances where, you know, they'll fall off the slide and, you know, the floor is, it's, it's hard as rocks. And um, <laughs> there's some, uh, old toys and books, and there's a couple of dirty spots in the carpet. So my proposal is that I paint, reorganize, clean the playroom, and this is, I'll get to this last point later, to install new carpet. So the way I structured this PowerPoint is I divided it into three phases. Phase one and two are phases that I would, you know, I would love to get done and I'm intent on getting done, and phase three is up to you guys to get done. You know, if, if you wish, it's fine, but if you don't get it done, it's just kind of the above and beyond. So phase, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. My bad. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got very excited. <laughs> <laughs> so phase one, this is what I'll do as soon as I get in there is clean. I'm going to vacuum, clean the windows, you know, and I'm going to assign a couple of my scouts to clean the toys with some uh, disinfectant wipes and, you know, clean any dirty spots in the so phase two is the repainting and reorganization. And these are some pictures of the playroom. You know, as you can see, it's a little bit dull. It's just brick. This is the bookshelf. This is the part that's disorganized. It's in complete tatters. This is the um, toy bin. You know, it's just basically a stack of toys. And then in this one, in this picture, in the upper right corner, you'll see there's a couch for the adults. And that was one of the suggestions is that I implement new seating. So I divided phase two into two parts. The first part is painting. And so how I'll paint the room is um, on the procedure sheet on the second page um, is a how to paint in theory brick. I, I know, you know, I just put on that piece of paper just in case you wanted to look at it. I didn't want to lecture you all on how to paint in theory brick. Um, so while I'm painting, you know, I'm going to get a, a supervisor to help me and make sure that I'm doing it right. And then the third part of this is that if there's a muralist or artist in the community, I'm going to look into it. and. Um, you know, if they'd be willing to donate their time, we could get a mural to hang up. And then the second part of phase two is to reorganize. So what I've done is the first two bullet points, which is observe which toys the kids play with, and what and ask the adults what could be improved. And I'll get to those suggestions in just a moment. Um, so my suggestions are we implement an organization system for toys, remove some of the old toys, and reorganize the bookshelf and have new seating. We would. Let's take a little field trip. And then we'll get to questions and ideas. What we uh, notice is that it's a little bit like some of the cracks are filled in, but not all of them. And it's, it's a little, looks a little funky. And there's a bunch of like pieces of tape on it. There's a nail up there. And um, there's a couple of dirty spots in the carpet right there. And this is the bookshelf. You don't need to get out of the way. It's fine. And, um, it's it just this is and this also this bin it's kind of just the stack of toys you know I, I feel like it could be so much more if we actually like put the effort in 
to making an organization system work. And um, but I, um, I haven't figured that out exactly yet, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm open to suggestions as far as the layout of the room, where we would want seating for it, um, and, and this uh, organi new organization system. I'm open to suggestions for it. And, um, oh yeah, and also the uh, window screens. I'm oh, sorry, I don't want to be lazy again. So, um, you know, it's the windows, <laughs> as you can see, are, um, they don't have any screens on them. And uh, that, was, that was another suggestion that was placed. So now, uh, if you'd like to look around, you may. But um, I'll just head back into the room and prepare for a question. I have a question. Yeah. Will you paint them? Is that the only wall you paint? No. If we can paint all three, we can paint two, we can paint this one, whichever ones you want. I have a suggestion that we might want to keep the original brick. Um, yeah, that too. Of painting it. But you know, one thing we can also do, and I mentioned this to Greg, is that it's just not something that he can do, but you know, we can have this whole thing just sheetrock, you know, and then so it looks, we have a clean, nice looking wall. Because right now, it just, it looks so tacky. Well, the reason mm -hmm. that we have finished the have Yeah, if, if you wish, we could also have a crib. I know we had one, you know, a couple of years ago. We could bring that back. And I was thinking as far as old toys, you know, they, they really love this one, so I don't think we'd get rid of this one. Yeah, but as far as getting rid of the old toys, I'm thinking the ones at the top of the barrel will stay, and the ones at the bottom, they probably never looked at before. They'd be like, oh, that exists, you know. So I was thinking as far as getting rid of toys that we would as far as, the, as far as the calming of the kids, I think uh, the choice of colors for the carpet and for painting the wall and the ceiling too might be considered. Well, my time frame is I'd like to get this done before summer, you know, because, you know, summer, everybody's gone, you know, I'm, I'm going to be missing half my troop, and, you know, my mind's probably going to be somewhere else by then. <laughs> yeah. You're not 17 and a half, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, no. I'm uh, 15 right now. Brilliant. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you.